In this video, we'll be setting up our snowplow kit for the Can-Am Defender. And you just go to the website, do a build. And since I already had the winch on the machine, took that off of the build and you end up with three pieces. I'll add the part numbers to the description. But first thing I have in my kit is I opted for the 66 inch steel snow blade instead of the polycarb. After that, we need to attach that to our frame kit or push bar, push arm, comes with different terms, but we'll need to attach the blade to that piece. And then after that, we'll need to attach the support plate to the machine, which you can access at ground level. You don't need to jack up the machine. And uh, this one here, based on your configuration, if you have other accessories or, or different packages, uh, for me, I'm fairly stock. It was very easy to find uh, the pre-drilled bolt holes for this to attach the plate. So this wasn't uh, any problems for me to get it installed. So first thing we need to do is uh, get the blade onto the push bar. So we'll see two big holes here down at the bottom. And then we'll just need to align it in here. And we have this uh, bolt configuration here that we'll need to do it. So this will allow the blade to kind of swivel. So we'll attach that. And once we have that attached, you'll see that we have another hole right to the right of that. Uh, we'll need to install some blocks there to set kind of like the blade angle a little bit later. Uh, and then we'll set up the springs. We don't have any tension in the springs. It won't be until we add the little blocks. Uh, you'll see here in a second that you'll need a little bit of help. Uh, the biggest issue with this install is that the instructions that don't come with the boxes, you have to download it from the instructions.brp.com website, is that it includes all variations of the pro mounts and the push bars and, and all this stuff. So uh, you'll be spending quite a bit of time figuring out this next step, which is this guiding pulley bar, which is used with your winch to center the, uh, the mount and to attach it to your machine. So based on your setup, you may have to change the position of the holes and if you're using this included uh, roller uh, that came with the kit but I already have the standard one you can swap it out if you want but I didn't which means I didn't need to change anything on that guiding pulley arm so last piece here that took a little bit of help which is it's all these little square blocks again based on the settings you need to position these things at a specific way I'm fairly sure I put it the wrong way but Hopefully somebody can add some comments here. But anyway, the anyway, uh, point is the blade is basically installed. Last thing we need to do is bolt in the support plate. And it's very easy, only one way to do it. Pay attention to the instructions because the shorter bolts, nuts, there's specific ones you got to put in certain spots. Don't know why, but uh, it's fairly easy to get this set up and bolted and tightened down. And once you're ready to go, basically center the blade, hook up the winch, and pull it in and once it's engaged you just lower it give the winch some slack and remove the cable from that pulley arm which is only used to center the blade and pull it in while you're you're hitching it up basically and the procedure to uh, change the angle you can just pull this arm and then you can just angle the blade to your preference fairly easy and then the last thing is when you need to disengage the blade you basically bring it to the ground, give it some slack, and just simply press on the release pedal, and that will detach it from the plate. And then again, if you wanted to hook it up, just pull on your winch, and you'll hear a snap. And then disengage the pulley arm, and you are good to go.